All right, what's going on YouTube? Today, we're going to be looking at how to add a photo art album to the Groove Music Player. So first of all, Groove Music Player is looks pretty good, I think. It comes with default with the Windows. And sometimes, though, you get this annoying thing where it says Album Unknown. And it's just a blank. There's no art or anything. And a lot of times you may want art because it just looks pretty. And let's say you're running a stream or something and you want to just have a little a snippet of Google or Groove Music and you want to have that artwork playing along with the album title, or you just want it for your own personal like OCD, then you'll need to be able to do that. Now, the first thing, let's these are some files. If you download a file onto your computer, like an audio file, it's automatically going to go in this unknown album, unknown artist, unknown genre section because it's not tagged. Windows Media Player and Groove are pretty good at automatically identifying the artwork if it's tagged correctly. These are not tagged at all though but I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. If you go to, let's say we go to Blink-182 here. And I tagged these pretty well. I've upgraded the, the um, year and stuff like that. So if we go to Edit Info, and then if you go to Find Album Info, you'll see it's going to try to go ahead and just search its database and give me all kinds of artwork to choose from based on the year and the number of songs and the, the song titles and whatnot. But I've already added the type, the artwork, so it's no big deal for this one. But let's say if you have a song that is not tagged very well, or you simply don't know because it's not a it doesn't have an artwork, but you just want to add a custom one. Let's take this anime themed uh, anime theme songs for example. So the first thing we're going to want to do to get it out of the unknown album section is to go ahead and go to properties. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and go to edit info. And we'll just say anime hits is fine for that. And we'll go to the title as well. And for the artist, we can just go anime soundtrack. And same thing for the, I'm gonna copy this. Same thing for the album artist as well. And then let's say the year, we'll just go 2021 because that's the year I'm recording this. And then we'll just go um, miscellaneous. Maybe we could just go, we'll go J-pop. That is where most of the Japanese anime songs are from. All right, now we're gonna go save. And notice it got taken out of the unknown album section. So we're gonna go back to our music and I have it sorted by albums. So you can also sort it by song, artists and songs, but it's a lot easier to see album artwork. So we'll just go ahead and go back to that. And now you should see a new one blank. It says anime hits, but there's no artwork. If you go to the edit info again and you search um, my bad. Edit info up here. And you search find album info. It probably won't find any because it's not tagged very well. So instead of that, what you can do is go here to the edit info again, and you click this little pencil, right? and you'll have the option to select your own artwork. Now, I went ahead and downloaded something beforehand called Anime Music Cover, and I click open. And now it's going to fill this lovely little picture. This is actually from your lie in April, I believe. And now you can save it. And once we play the song, you'll see it will always show this nice little artwork here. If you don't have the song, the artwork downloaded on your computer already, the easiest way probably is to go to Google Images, like such here. And then we can just go and type, let's just type in anime. soundtrack and we get all these different artwork to choose from pick one you like you think it fits the album and then you can simply save it into whatever folder you like here and then you can right click and go to save image you know how everyone knows how to do that so that is for groove and that will work um, you can use custom photos you can use anything you want so that's a very simple way to do it now let's go back to windows media player this time and windows media player if you haven't forgotten what that is it's a uh, default windows media player um it's actually it's it's not quite as easy to use as groove unfortunately but it is a little more powerful because it can play other kinds of stuff too like videos and stuff it has more options but it's just very very counterintuitive so let's go and go to our unknown and let's say we have this right here right this is a titanic flute fails and pokemon short intro so these are just random stuff i downloaded and you can see our new out it's updated already i believe yeah, there it is. Okay. So it's already updated from what we did with Groove. It's um, anime soundtracks here. But let's say, you know, we can release here. We can update this stuff. So 
in order to be able to view that, if it's like this, a lot of times the default will be like this. You have to actually go over here to the right hand side and select like view options. And you want to change it to where it says details. And now you can edit. You have to actually go into the column and right click where my, my mouse is. And you can click edit. And that'll change the year. So we'll just say 2021. And then maybe we want the genre is fine, anime hits is fine. And there we go. Now to change the artwork, you'll have to make sure you take it out of the unknown, first of all. So this is already out of unknown. And you're going to want to, it's really weird. You have to right click on the actual album. And you can't edit it because if you go to edit, it's just not going to only get a chance to name. So you have to actually go and have the picture selected in advance. So let's go ahead and just copy one of these. We'll say we just copy image. And we'll go back to the Windows Media Player. And now if we right click on the album from the album page, again, it'll say paste album art. And if you paste it, it should update here in a second. There we go. Okay. So it just took a second to update. And now it's changed. So really weird. That's what Windows Player Windows Media Player makes you do. And obviously you can copy your own picture if you downloaded something on your computer already. But I just literally just copied that directly from the internet and that was able to update it. So looks very good. Nice and simple way to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you found that helpful. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.